Hello and welcome to this News Mobile special. We have a special guest, uh, Deputy Prime Minister of Kazakhstan, His Excellency Asghar Zumalev. Welcome to News Mobile, Excellency. Thank you. And welcome to India. Thank you. This is your first visit to India and I uh, gather that you are on a digital Kazakhstan and joining Digital India mission. So how has been the mission so far? Uh, everything is okay. We just met with uh, Minister of IT and another companies and now we are uh, going to uh, create between us a common ground. How, what kind of a strategic partnership do you think India and Kazakhstan can have? What are the areas they can cooperate, especially for young people? A lot of young Indians are interested in Kazakhstan. Uh, okay, that's, uh, I think uh, will be interesting for India uh, guys uh, to work uh, on innovative projects. Uh, for example, e according to our uh, state program, uh, which is called Digital Kazakhstan, we would like to uh, create innovative ecosystem in Astana. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a very interesting area where we uh, provide uh, for all of companies, tax incentives, British law, uh, other uh, interesting benefits and facilities and uh, we are ready and we welcome to work to all of Indian uh, companies and actually uh, with all of uh, companies around the world. So you're saying that there are a lot of tax incentives for Indian startup entrepreneurs if they want to go uh, to Kazakhstan under digital Kazakhstan? Yes. That's possible. And and how do they go there? So do they get a, do, do they get in touch with the Kazakh embassy here, and they can and you can process it? Is it a time to yes, do it? Yes, I think it's uh, it it will be simple to work with our embassy because they know all of information about this. They will help to uh, to to provide uh, visa and another uh, and, and could decide another question. And actually yeah. For uh, us, very interesting to work with uh, Indian guys because uh, historically uh, India has uh, an exemplary experience in ICT development. And you want more and more Indian IT professionals. Yes. And do you also provide some financial support when these uh, entrepreneurs go there to Kazakhstan or, or you only provide some tax incentives? It, we provide tax incentives and then it depends on the project, uh, it's going to be in this area, uh, uh, and we could provide venture finance oh. in our area, but of course for good projects. Okay, are there any particular focus areas that you have in mind uh, for projects mm -hmm. in Kazakhstan? Any any specific subjects that you are targeting? Uh, we are working uh, on all sphere of ICT, uh, such as cybersecurity, blockchain, IoT, artificial intelligence. It's all of areas uh, where we are interested to work uh, together with all mm. companies around the world. And how was your meeting with the Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad? It was good. It was good. It was good, and uh, we have some idea to create between us action plan and uh, work to strengthen further our relationship. Right. What is, uh, a lot of Indian tourists want to visit Kazakhstan now. Uh, it's become a big attraction, both Almaty and Astana. Your embassy is working very hard to promote that. What is your message to uh, young Indians, especially who want to visit Kazakhstan? <laughs> okay. Welcome to Kazakhstan. It's a good country. Thank you. Excellency, thank you very much for talking thank to you. us.